beautiful people. If you are currently in a funk or just like feeling not yourself, kind of out of it, like same. I feel like my self-confidence has really not been thriving. I just did a little at-home workout because I feel like I've been really good on like working out and everything, but today I just could not make myself go to the gym. We're in my bathroom today because in true completely out of it fashion <laughs> like you guys are probably like what what are you doing like this is literally kind of the color of your hair right now and i just want to preface this by saying i'm not suggesting you do this okay every time i do something stupid to my hair i'm telling you guys it's not a tutorial i'm not telling you to do it one of the things that's been driving me crazy is you can't really tell on camera but the bottoms of my hair you can kind of see it a little bit it's green it's literally green you can really tell that this is just like a mental health episode because that's what dyeing your hair is a sign of Good morning guys, it's been a few days since I last filmed the little hair segment for this video and I like fully intended to film that entire day but it just was not happening, I just like mentally was not there which is literally the theme of this video so I was like okay I'm just gonna like be gentle with myself and not finish this today and finish it another day. I'm ice rolling my face right now, I got up it's like 9.50 right now. What I want to do to kind of continue our little getting our sparkle back journey is I'm going to go to Starbucks this morning to get breakfast because first of all, we really don't have any food in the house. We need to go shopping like really, really badly. I have like a bunch of Starbucks stars that I need to use before they expire. On my little walk, I'm going to wear these headphones I just got. I posted them on my Instagram story because I really needed over-the-ear headphones. And I've had Beats for a really long time and they are like good quality and everything, but they are literally so painful to wear. Like, I think it depends on, you know, like your ear shape and stuff, but mine are like incredibly painful after like 20 minutes so they just smush my ear and it's super uncomfortable so i found these and i was like oh i can get the apple ones i can get the sony ones which was like 500 dollars. these were 85 and i'm obsessed with them so not sponsored but i have like an amazon like if you guys want to get them but i'm gonna put these on and get like in the vibe like a, a nice little self-confidence vibe maybe i'll listen to a podcast just like get the mood up you know very warm walking it was maybe like two miles it's like a mile there and a mile back but we did that we had a little hot girl walk I definitely got a little bit sweaty and I got myself some late breakfast I got the impossible sausage sandwich this is my favorite thing that they make like food wise and then I got myself my free drink so I had to get a venti of course and it looks very random it kind of looks like a cold brew <laughs> She's not aesthetic, but it tastes really good. I got a Venti ice green tea. So it's, this is like all green tea, and then it has a little bit of the strawberry acai base in it and some matcha powder. So that's why it's such a weird <laughs> brown color. I was deciding on the way over here, I'm going to just eat my breakfast and I'm going to watch SNL from last night because I know it's kind of like a silly show. Like a lot of people don't like it, but it makes me laugh. So uh, I'm going to watch it because that's what I need right now. Whenever I'm having like an off day or I'm just like not feeling like myself or whatever, I like to do my like makeup routine because it just makes me feel more confident and I honestly think it's fun. I do like a little glow up and talk about our feelings because why not? That sounds really fun. Obviously, you don't need makeup or anything to feel more confident, feel more like yourself, but I think it's fun. I think it's stress relieving and it does help me feel 
just like a little bit more confident in myself. Whatever works for you. The first thing that I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the new niacinamide one. I'm just going to put some of this on my face. Am I going anywhere? No. Is literally anyone going to see me? Maybe my roommate when she comes back, but probably not really anybody. This is just for me because it's fun. I talked in like the beginning of this video about just like how I've been feeling and how I've just been feeling off. I just, I hope if you guys are having this same kind of experience that this video just lets you know that you are not alone. I was talking to my friend Beth on FaceTime a couple days ago. Her channel is amazing. If you don't watch her channel, you should because it's so good. We do like FaceTime a lot, which is so nice. I just, I really love talking to her and we are literally so similar. Like our personalities are so similar. It's kind of crazy. I feel like we joke a lot that we're like the same person. We were just talking about it and I'm just in this season of life, like where I said earlier, where this semester like yes i'm doing a lot of work but it's not all like crammed into a short amount of time like i have a lot of things to do and i'm doing a lot of work i'm doing podcasts youtube channel instagram tiktok homework my internship like i'm doing a lot but i actually have a reasonable amount of time to do all that work which i'm not used to it's like this weird feeling where i may feel guilty that i'm not doing more because i have more free time that I'm used to but then I also feel guilty for feeling that way because I really just want to enjoy having more like freedom in my days to just relax and not work as much because I know that as soon as I graduate really that's not going to be something I probably experienced for a while. I really want to do an entire video that's like talking about graduation and my like plans because I know you guys have like wondering about that and I kind of just like want to do a nice heart to heart like catch up video or like life update video I guess because I feel like I just want to tell you guys a lot of different stuff. So I'm definitely going to do that but probably not until graduation is like closer. Just use the e.l.f. color corrector. I absolutely love this so much. I want to try and do more college vlogs before I can't make them anymore which is crazy. For like my foundation or like my base, I'm using the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is why you guys need to like follow me on TikTok and stuff because if you do, you already have seen all these products because honestly, like everything you don't see on the channel, you will see like on TikTok or on Instagram. And on TikTok, I'm trying to like figure out my mindset about it because I'm so severely addicted to it and I like, I'm very like cognizant of that I realize it but it's been really hard for me to like work on that literally have like the instinct like the urge to scroll on it all the time because it just like helps regulate my emotions and like makes me like not have to think about whatever it is that's going on in my head like my mind is completely blank when I'm scrolling and it's really nice I really need that like experience it's really bad because I'm spending like hours on there and I don't want to so if you guys have any tips for that let me know i was thinking of doing like either a podcast episode or a youtube video where i do like deleting tiktok for a week or something because honestly i feel like that's the only thing that's probably gonna help okay my memory card just ran out of battery because that is just the vibe for this video also this weird color drink is in fact delicious even though it looks very strange i just did some eyeshadow and this little brow gel it's the wow brow again from elf love them and i think it's like three dollars just like the eyeshadow palette what i've been doing lately is doing my eyeliner with this little brush this is from wet n wild it's just like a little slanted brush and then just the brown um eyeshadow and nothing else and i love it so much this is the little makeup we have going on the final thing which i think is so cute i don't have any like highlighter right now but i've just been using a little glittery eyeshadow in this little tiny palette i think it's so cute it's like so random but i think it's so cute i love makeup it's so fun there we go i feel a lot better because i was just like so fun makeup just makes my soul happy you know anyway 
we love to see it I'm literally just scrolling on instagram right now and i just saw this post that apparently right now the full moon is in leo and there's like a little like, like a post about what it means for the different signs and if you guys don't know i'm a libra and i like very much identify with being a libra like really I really relate to it. I feel like it describes me really well. And I thought this was so funny for this video. This one says, This full moon in Leo will bring out the confidence in you. Get ready to feel empowered and strong. And remember your friends are there to listen to you just as you're always there for them. So, cute. I just, I love that. That just like kind of was like, ooh. Perfect for this video. Okay, let's put away this makeup that I literally got out on my desk for this video <laughs> if you guys know me or like watch any of my videos or anything you know i'm so obsessed with pinterest and it's one of my absolute favorite things to do to just like inspire me especially when i'm not really like feeling it not really feeling like myself so of course we have to do that right now and i specifically have this little method i talked about in my podcast i think it's the last episode that i uploaded or like you can go listen to it now i think and I want to show you guys, it's like a little goal setting technique and I feel like I need that right now. So let's do it. Also, that's the lighting. I feel very cute right now. <laughs> okay. Self-love people. We're working on it. We're working on it this month. Let's do Pinterest time. I literally spend way too much time on Pinterest. So you guys should definitely follow me. I was literally watching like a Walking Dead reaction uh video because i'm just really quirky like that this is my pinterest profile my handle is isabella june Murray, and i just love it so much you guys should definitely follow me because i'm applying soon to have this new feature where i can go like live on pinterest which sounds really fun so i post a lot of original pins and content on here but i also really love like repinning other people's stuff and just like making like aesthetic little boards and things i just love it so much so the thing that i talked about in my podcast episode and i want to kind of actually work on right now is this like goal setting technique that i'm trying and i'm hopefully i will do this for like the entire year but every single year i make a vision board which you guys know i love so much mine's literally right there i love that so much and it's really like an overview of my goals for the entire year which is awesome but it's kind of overwhelming because I feel like so, so much can happen in a year, especially like this upcoming year or like the year I'm in right now, the year we're in right now. I'm sorry, my brain is not functioning today. Like obviously I'm going to have like the rest of school to finish and then graduation and then traveling and then like moving and then maybe moving again and getting a job. Like that's so many different phases with so many different goals attached to them. So what I'm kind of doing this year and like my goal is to do this for the rest of the year is to separate the entire year into three month chunks so four chunks of three months and I'm kind of I'm calling them like like different seasons even though they don't correspond to like the seasons that well but like you get what I'm saying and I'm just doing like little mini goal setting for those individual times because I feel like it's way more doable and I feel more accomplished so I've been doing that by making a little board for each like season so obviously I'm in the first season of 2023 right now until like March and it's February right now I'm going to find some pins like just keep it really small so it's not overwhelming that really exemplify the things that I want to accomplish in this little season so I'm going to go through and just kind of go on my homepage and like look things up to add to that board so let's do it I added some pins to this little board that like represent my season 1 2023 little goals so this is a secret board so you guys won't be able to see it but I'm just gonna show you like as an example so it doesn't have that many pins on it as you can see but like I try to 
make them things I want to accomplish within this three month period and like kind of be specific. So for example, I have like a picture of some plane tickets and this like for me represents buying my tickets for my Europe trip. So I bought those um, a couple weeks ago. So that is kind of like a little example. Another thing is I'm trying to read a lot of books or at least one book a month and I'm doing really well. I've already read five books and since the, like the beginning of the year so that's very exciting and then like some cute shoes because I really need to buy myself a new pair of sneakers because I like wore a hole in the ones that I have and like I needed new headphones so I put a picture of that and yeah I just I love that this is not like a ton of images it feels really like manageable and I can keep coming back and like remind myself of my goals and uh, this just makes me feel so good and like I'm more in control of like what's going on around me all right this is another like habit i've been doing that's been helping me when i'm like having my little off moments or i just like have a little bit of time and i'm not really sure like what i want to do so you guys know i read a lot like i love like reading like fantasy books just like before i go to sleep but i've been doing like reading one fantasy book at a time and then also reading like one kind of like self self help or like a growth book which i'll just like read throughout the day so the one I'm reading right now is called How to Not Always Be Working by Marley Grace. It's really, I really, really like it so far. It's very short and it has little exercises in each chapter. So it's kind of like a workbook slash reading book. And I really, really like it. I think I only have like two chapters left. So I'm going to read a chapter of this and do like the little journal prompt. Because just reading stuff like this always makes me feel better i guess and it's also like helpful there's a lot of great stuff in here especially this one is great if you are very like work oriented like me i have been enjoying it and the other two books i'm going to read after i finish that one is girls that invest in money diaries i got these for christmas so thank you to my aunt who got these for me and i really wanted to read more about like finances and stuff because obviously i'm going to be graduating and that is something i don't know like almost anything about let's do the chapter seven exercises from this book